Young's modulus of copper. We'll use this fine copper wire, this pulley board with a scale and a pulley. We'll need to clamp each end using these clamps, measure the wire length with the long tape. We'll stretch the wire using a mass hanger and one and a half newton weights and we'll use a digital caliper gauge to measure the wire thickness. The pulley board is clamped at one end of a fixed bench. You mustn't use tables that can move, we're looking at very small changes in length. We'll fix the other end of the wire at the far end of the bench. Using bare copper wire around a quarter of a millimetre diameter, that's around 32 SWG, take a few turns around a wooden block. And then clamp it firmly to the fixed bench. There, that's well held. Spool the wire out to the pulley block and then cut the wire around 25 centimetres beyond the pulley. Double over the loose end and twist a loop. Hook this loop over the clamp and fix the loop by soldering. Put the mass hanger on the loop and hang it over the pulley. Slightly. Then line the blue centre line up with the wire, retighten the clamp. Now we need to attach the moving vernier scale to the wire. They're printed out on labels. Crease it a little along one of the guidelines. And then attach it to the wire towards the low end of the scale. Trim off the label right to the very edge of the vernier scale. So here's the vernier scale and main scale from above. Now the wire needs to be pre-stretched. Pull down on the mass hanger to extend the wire around 12mm. This will eliminate any kinks. Measure the wire diameter in several places along the wire. And measure the length of the wire from the fixed end to the dot on the vernier scale. Take this reading as zero load, add one newton at a time, now you can pause and rewind the video to take readings. After adding each weight, it's removed again to check the extension is still elastic. Weights gently to avoid bouncing and overextending the wire.
Now, once you reach the elastic limit, you don't need to keep removing the weights. 